Hi, I'm Greg Stokes. I'm a practicing uh, attorney in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, we handle serious injury and wrongful death cases. Today we're talking about CSI and personal injury lawyers. Everybody's familiar with the TV show, Crime Scene Investigating. Well, you know, personal injury lawyers are really required to do just about the same thing, to get involved in cases and to look at the physical evidence and figure out what really happened in an accident or any kind of incident that might give rise to a lawsuit. Let me give you an example. A number of years ago, there was a terrible police shooting here in DeKalb County, Georgia. And um, it involved a teenager. He had a fight with his mom. He locked himself in the room. She called 911. And three police officers came in. And they entered the room. And he was sitting in his closet. And of course, he was very, very scared by the police officers. And while he was sitting there, the police officers started to shine a flashlight in his face. And he picked up a stick, a ruler, and he threw it at the officers. In return, the officers fired five shots. Three of them hit him. One in each knee and one in his low back. The police officers, all three of them said, he had lunged out of the closet, they thought he had a knife, and they were protecting themselves. So we had three police officers on one side and a 16-year-old on the other side. Who were we going to believe? Well, the county took the approach that they were going to side with the police officers. As it turned out, this case turned into a major federal civil rights case and we took the lead on it. We brought in the deputy coroner from Los Angeles to reconstruct the injury and to see how, where this young man was seated when he was shot. The CSI person came to the house, inspected the closet, looked at the bullet holes in the closet and the floor of the closet, then she compared it to the x-rays. And what did the x-rays show? The x-rays show that one shot went through one knee, another shot went through the other knee, and then another shot went into his low back. She was able to animate the reconstruction, and she was able to show in order for those shots to enter the body that way, the young man had to be seated in the closet with his knees up. That's why the bullets went through the front of the knee and then came out the back of the knee. And then the bullet to the low back came about, which was bullet number five. As the young man was falling, the bullet went into his low back and stayed there permanently. Well. The one thing I didn't tell you is this injury was so severe they had to amputate one of the legs of this young man. We brought this case in federal court. We were within one week of trial. We showed the animation. We showed what evidence we were going to present, the physical evidence from the CSI versus the three police officers and the county came up and decided they didn't want to go to trial, they wanted to get it settled. What do we learn from this? Sometimes you can't go with just the witness's testimony. Sometimes the injury lawyer has to go deeper and look at the physical evidence and bring in experts to develop what that evidence is. If you ever find yourself in a situation like this, or you, you have a case where you're struggling with it, because everybody's saying it happened one way, but you know it didn't happen that way. I want you to call us. Our number is 1-800-700-5050, and we want to concentrate on your problem.